mentioned, Dorian could become a major Category 4 storm before it makes landfall. Yeah, it's time to get ready. And this morning, a plan is in place to house any evacuees getting out of the storm's path by coming here. Channel 2's Darren Moore continues our live severe weather Team 2 coverage at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Darren. And yes, the Speedway is an option for families looking to find some shelter or safe haven away from the hurricane. But I can tell you one thing, state leaders are right now down at GEMA in Atlanta keeping tabs on a very powerful storm. Hurricane Dorian is heading to Florida, bringing a lot of rain and damaging winds. And parts of South Georgia could feel its strength when it hits the mainland and state leaders are ready. We're staging our resources so that we have the flexibility to go where they're needed. Georgia State Patrol have troopers on standby for evacuees traveling north on the interstates from Florida and south Georgia. Got 150 troopers that are assigned, 125 of them are designated if we have to do contraflow on I-16. We still have a couple of days before Dorian makes landfall as a Category 4 hurricane. Governor Brian Kemp isn't ready to tell people they need to cancel their Labor Day plans, but he does have a warning. It's definitely, I think, going to be a nasty weekend on the coast, but if you're still going, you need to be watch for common sense things like rip currents and other things, uh, bigger waves than normal. And again, the Speedway uh, is a place to uh, camp out just to get away from that hurricane if need be. Darren, right now, you're, you're there alone. It might change coming up yeah. shortly. All right. And it should be a nice weekend yeah. here yeah. for them to get away from the storm. Well